In this session, I'm going to teach you mobile application testing best practices uh, from A to Z. Now let's start in detail. First of all, you need to understand the types of different mobile application testing. Let's start from functional testing. So in a simple words, functional testing means like you need to test every functionality of your mobile application uh, and to make sure that all the functionality should work same as expected and there should not be any error. And everything you need to write the proper test scenarios and the test cases and then you can perform easily functional testing. The second type of testing which is called as uh, user interface testing and in this type of testing your primary goal should be uh, you need to investigate and make sure that graphical elements to verify that they are functional according to the requirements. And after performing the UI testing, then you're supposed to perform the usability testing. And here your goal should be to allow uh, to measure the evaluation of the compliances of the application design with its functionality specification by the customer. So this is all about the user experience you need to target here in this type of testing. And after that, uh, you need to perform the compatibility testing. And here your primary goal should be to ensure the consistent functionality of an app across the devices and software ecosystem. So after performing uh, these uh, types of testing, then you further need to perform the accessibility testing. And here your goal should be uh, to run the mobile accessibility testing to verify that an application has been uh, adjusted for accessibility needs. Mm -hmm. And then you also need to spend a lot of time for performing performance testing. And in performance testing, we normally learn about an application stability, resources consumption, and ability to uh, stand um, in terms of high loads and whenever there are thousands of users are uh, concurrent users are um, coming into your mobile application and the application should not be crashed and should be working without any delays and uh, smoothly uh, the customer the prospects they will be able to have a good user experience in terms of performance testing. And in performance testing, I recommend that you need to learn uh, JMeter uh, and the load runner, but uh, JMeter is basically the open source tool which will help you to perform the performance testing. And then the most important types of uh, two testing, the localization and the internationalization. So in localizations, your um, target should be remain for a specific region or a country. And internationalization testing, your target should be uh, for another region. And the major region uh, means like uh, uh, if you are in US, so their culture and region, uh, according to that, you need to make sure that people are normally speak English so the website should be in English but if you the same website you are targeting that uh, the people in Germany they also can see and uh, buy the products from your website then you need to have in another language uh, a German language in your website should have the functionality so that the text should be translated in the German language. And when we are talking about the German language, then you're supposed to perform another testing cycle to make sure everything should be working as per expectations of the current region. And after that, I also recommend you need to perform the security testing. And in the security testing allows uncovering existing and potential vulnerabilities, uh, threats and risk in a mobile application. And here in the security testing, our primary goal should be to identify the loopholes. Uh, in the current application. And after that, then you need to perform the change related testing. And here, uh, your goal should be once developer fix the bugs, uh, a QA engineer needs to verify the changes and make sure the rest of the functionality is still working without any kind of issues. Then you also need to perform the API testing. And that is basically helps you to determine the software strengths uh, at the early stage of the development. Therefore, API testing detects small errors that might become more serious while running GUI. 
And I one thing you must need to understand in EPI testing, our scope of testing is uh, remain towards the back end testing. This is not the front end testing. This is more towards the back end testing. And then we need to perform the end to end testing. A Q engineer checks a user flow from the beginning to the end and gives the clear uh, idea prospect of a user journey through some part of your mobile application. And in the end to end testing, uh, we, we need to make sure that there should not be any crash when we are performing any transaction, the money transactions or any kind of uh, workflow if we are verifying and uh, validating. So customers should not have any kind of uh, bad experience. And then at the last, you also need to perform the acceptance testing. So in, under the acceptance testing, your uh, this is the final verification of the business functionality. The QA team goes through a product functionality to see if the software system meets the specification requirement or not. And normally the business users are uh, become a part of such kind of testing when we are talk about the acceptance testing. Now let's talk about uh, in mobile application testing approaches. So uh, we have the two choices like proactive approach and reactive approach. And the proactive approach in a simple words, uh, like we have a proper test plan, we have a proper test design document. Uh, the test design document have the proper test scenarios and the test cases. And we have the proper requirements. We must have the scope of the application. And we must have a proper planned testing cycles for the smoke, sanity, recreation, and end-to-end -end, as we discussed earlier. And when we are talking about the reactive, reactive means, okay, what will happen? We will see later on if the issues will come, then we will run our testing cycle. So that is reactive approach, which is very bad. So being as a good tester, uh, this is our social and primary responsibility. We need to perform the mobile application testing uh, while utilizing the proactive approach. Now let's talk about the areas uh, which you need to focus for mobile application testing. So here um, you need to make sure the installation and deinstallation and when you are upgrading your mobile, so there should not be any effect for your uh, existing mobile application. And you also need to make sure the location and VPN data synchronization related testing. And also you need to perform the testing for the interruptions of the application by cells and messages. And application should not have any um, bad indications or alerts are showing uh, when suddenly the messages are appearing now. And your um, also the application has the ability to run the app in the background. Uh, this is another scenario you need to verify. And then the most important thing, guys, I want to recommend you uh, the payment gateway. The communication chat, audio, video, everything with respect to that you need to test. And also then there are some terms in which you must try to understand and investigate um, your time for testing these areas like the touch screens, the tap and the swipe. And when you are swiping and pull and shake and pinch the screen uh, so that uh, the application should uh, be working as per the expected results now. And then you also need to understand the difference between the native apps versus hybrid apps. So uh, in the simple words, the native app is the one which is running in a one platform, like the platform can be the Android or can be the iOS, but the hybrid is the one which can be running the multiple platform, not only the Android, but also uh, the application can run the multiple other um, frameworks and the devices like the iOS and Android and all the functionality should be available in all the platforms now. And then now you need to understand the testing approach for hybrid and uh, native. So I just want to say that both have the same testing type. Uh, you need to perform the similar like smoke, sanity, recreation, the functional testing, the security testing, and just try to follow those strategies and implementing in the same way. But in the hybrid application requires more time for spending for the UI testing 
and hybrid apps tends to require more real devices and always remember that when you are testing on mobile uh, so you no need to use any simulator try to always uh, use uh, proper physical devices now <clears throat> Now, uh, the real devices testing is uh, allow the QA team to assure that an application works smoothly on a variety of smartphones. For example, only using a real device, you can properly check the colors on screen with different resolutions. And also the touch screens with all the swipes, scrolls and taps. And also you need to test the location, camera, audio and other devices specifically specific features uh, with respect to your current mobile application which you are testing and also you need to investigate the different software and hardware configuration and then the different software and hardware configurations uh, these scenarios must be performed only in the real-time devices now <clears throat> 